Hi there, welcome to my YouTube, Albert Pinto's channel, a multi-channel. In this channel, you can watch videos of my Konkani and Hindi songs, videos on Goa's best tourist spots and technical videos. So today's topic is on a blog. Yes, how to do the theme or template backup and restore it and how to backup content of your pages post and comments and how to restore it so let's begin first of all very important thing you must remember is to backup your theme before you set out to do any changes because if anything goes wrong in your coding then you can instantly restore it or else you're going to face an enormous task of redoing the whole thing again. That's a hell of a problem, man. So let's begin. I have already logged in and you do the same. So let's view my blog first and see how it looks like. Yeah, this is my new blog, which is presently kept for making tutorial videos. I have just one post so far. Let's go back to my blog dashboard. And here we will first do the backup of the content and restore it. So first click on the settings and then click on others. The importance of doing backup of your content like pages post and comments is it can be restored in the same blog or you can also import the content in any other blogs of yours in case you want to import it but today I will show you in this blog only as I don't want to damage my other blogs so let's do the backup so click on backup content save to your computer i will save it on my desktop for easy access you can save it wherever you like here we go the file is saved now in my blog I have just one post so what I'm going to do is first delete the post for you to see and then we will restore it we go to our post and delete let's refresh the blog and see you see it's no more it's been deleted and now let's go back and try to restore it We'll go to settings and we'll go to others and import the content. Let's confirm that you are not a robot. Import from your computer. That's my file. Click and open. The content is getting imported. We'll need to wait for some time. There it is. That's my post. Now let's go and refresh and see. There you see it has been restored and my post is there in my blog. Now let's talk about the theme backup. Let's do the backup of the theme. This backup is required because suppose you try to make some changes or you insert some code and if it goes wrong, then immediately you can restore it. And one more thing in backup is sometimes the backup does not work. I mean, it does not restore 
because of some changes that you have made. So in that case, how are you going to restore it? That also I will show you here. So let's go back to our theme. Click on the three dots and back up. Click on download and save your file wherever you like. I will save it once again on my desktop. Now let's take a new theme and install it first. Click on apply, new theme applying. New theme has been applied successfully. Let's go back and refresh it. Here it is, my new theme. Now let's go back and try to restore it. Click on upload. And click on open. There it is, restoring theme. It has been restored. Now let's check. Let's refresh and check now. There it is. That's my new theme. Now, in case the restore option does not work because it happens sometimes when you make changes in your theme and uh, you try to and you try to save it and try to restore it but sometimes it does not work so I have the other option for you click on edit HTML copy the entire theme control C open notepad and paste it control V now let's go back and apply another theme The new theme has been applied successfully. Now let's go and check it out. Refresh. And that's our new theme. Now let's go back to our notepad and copy the entire theme. Now let's apply it again, the old theme, right? Click on edit HTML. Let's go back and check our old theme once again. Yes, that is our old theme. Highlight the entire code and paste the old code right the old code has been pasted or the old theme has been pasted and I am saving it now update successful let's go back and refresh the page there you see the old theme has been restored so that's it for now hope this tutorial will be useful to you and in case you have any queries, do not hesitate to put your comments below. If you like, 
please subscribe my channel i will appreciate bye for now until next video another new tutorial bye bye and take care and thank you very much for watching this tutorial